Hi everyone! Entering a new school year can feel like a fresh start, especially after a long break. To prepare ourselves for an awesome year, we can use the time before school starts to reorganise and plan for the year ahead. We'll talk about the yearly planner and how it can help us stay organised. We'll also go through some steps so we can use this planner effectively and ease our way back into a study routine. Let's begin! The yearly planner is a structured table that includes all 12 months of the year. This planner is different from a normal calendar as it doesn't have the dates, so it's freeform. Feel free to pause this video to download our Atomy Yearly Planner template. So how do we go about using the planner? The first step is to identify important dates and place them on our yearly planner. A good place to start is the school calendar that's filled with important school dates at the start of the year. Another useful starting point is to take a look at your state's Board of Education website to see if they have a calendar of important dates, such as external exams. Make sure to also include public holidays and other events like school formals, talent shows or sporting events to give us a good idea of what's ahead. Next, we need to anticipate when the busy periods of our year are going to be. This can help you figure out whether that family holiday to Uluru in June or that fencing competition in September are going to clash with exam blocks or other deadlines. This means you can start prioritising right from the start. Another great thing about the yearly planner is that we can use it to start our more detailed term and week planners. It already has plenty of the most important events on it. Not only do we save time, but we can also better anticipate what the coming weeks will be like. Once everything is ready to go, you can place the yearly planner in your study space on an empty wall. That way, the planner acts as a visual reminder that you can refer to whenever you're in the zone and studying. Let's wrap up. This video talked about how we can use a yearly planner to anticipate important events and remember them as they come up. Feel free to answer these questions to refresh your memory. The yearly planner is different from a normal yearly calendar as it's more freeform, which means we have more flexibility to add assignments, events and important to-do lists. A good place to identify important dates is the school calendar or the state's Board of Education website for things like exam dates. We can use our yearly planners to create a more detailed outline of our week. It already has our important events, so we can use this as our skeleton before breaking down our tasks further in our weekly planner. That's all for now, until next time.